Manic Botanic by Zifflin. Um, the illustrator on this is Irina Vinick, and she is fabulous. I am in love with these illustrations. Um, it's one of those with it, it is a create space type book, so your your paper's not fabulous, but as you can see, I got a lot of nice color out of this page. <laughs> that um, uh, this was really super fun to do. I really had a ball with this this page. Used gel pens and a couple different kinds of pencils and um, just really liked it a lot. So again, I complain, I complain about the paper, but this one wasn't really too bad because you could get some decent shading out of it. And um, I layered it several times to get uh, the color to the level I wanted it. All of the images in here are like this. They're just super, super cool and detailed and you find interesting things along the way as you're coloring. You didn't realize there was a little frog in there or something and all of a sudden there it is. Like right here, here's a little centipede and all kinds of bugs all hidden in this botanic garden we got going on. Your frogs. And, uh, it's just beautiful. She just is an amazing, amazingly talented artist. And again, if you don't like the paper, no problem. Copy it to uh, cardstock or to nice artist paper in your copier. Um, she has lots of bunnies. So that's kind of a theme. It really is just, look at those cats. I love big cats. So this one I kind of did something different with. You can see how muted it is. This is the, I used all of the Derwent metallic pencils. That's all I used on this page. And they aren't super metallic-y in particular. You can kind of see a little bit of a sheen. But I really kind of enjoyed that they were very... Um, muted in their colors. You don't really, like other colored pencils aren't really in these colors in, in particular. So I really enjoyed doing this page just as a experiment that I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I thoroughly, thoroughly am happy with the results. I really like some of the shading that I was able to do with those metallics and um, I would recommend you checking those out if you, if you see them on Amazon. Go ahead and throw them in your, in your wish list and uh, wait till the price goes down and snag them. So here's some more, some more of the same. Lots of lots of black in here. I'm okay with the black. I know some people don't like that, but I'll just color around it. That gives me places I don't have to color in myself. So lobster battles. Every page is gorgeous. I hope she does some more, some more stuff. Yeah, I I tried to do markers on this, and again, I'm just not very good with markers. So. Probably I ruined that page, which kind of makes me sad, but, uh, you know, but, oh, so, and you can see, it definitely does bleed through, but I just put a piece of paper here, so go ahead and use your markers and um, either tear them out, copy it on another piece of paper, or, put, or leave it in and put the piece of paper behind. Pretty much if it lives in the forest, looks like she's included in this book, but these are cool guys. I like how they're, most of them are framed, so there's nothing that goes into the margin. Like that's, I really like that. You know, I've yacked about that before, how much I hate it if the pictures go off the side of the page and I can't color at all. So, this is gorgeous. So, this is, I believe, a continuation of the cover page. I think that's, yeah, so that's, so this is the same as this. So this, both of these pictures are in the, are inside the book, and this is the one I colored. And so I'll probably have to do that one next. But I really think this is a gorgeous book. I have not gotten any of the other Zifflin books. I know they have a lot of, their other books are Doodle books. Doodle Invasion, Doodle Realm, Doodle Fusion, Doodle Chaos, and then this is the newest one, Manic Botanic, and released in 2016. So I'm sure you've seen images from those Doodle books before. They're very cool too. 